This video presents and compares four different visualization techniques that support both individual focus and workspace awareness in groupware. While we presented similar techniques at CSCW 96, we will show more sophisticated versions of them here. For easier comparison, we will also show how these techniques work across a single application area, concept maps. Our first technique splits the view of the workspace into two viewports, a main view and a radar overview. This main view shows a portion of the workspace at full size. Because it allows independent navigation, each person can focus on whatever part of the workspace that they wish simply by scrolling around. When views overlap, as I just made them do so, people can see each other's telepointers and actions. You can see me point to this node, and you can also see my telepointer. That's right, I can see you quite clearly. In fact, we can both do something at the same time if we want to. This smaller secondary viewport is the radar overview that shows the entire workspace in miniature. Let's get a closer look at this. Again, we can see objects as they move or change, as well as each person's miniaturized telepointer. So for example, we can see here that the other person has moved this node and we can see the telepointer move around as well. The radar view also shows each person's main view extent as a filled rectangle. In this case, my rectangle is in purple with my photo inset and the other person's is in green, again with their photo inset. This allows us to tell where others are looking and where they're focusing their attention. You can see me scrolling to a different part of the workspace and where I stop to do my work. You can quickly come to where I'm working simply by aligning your view rectangle with mine. Okay, I'll do that. And there now we can see the same thing again. Because these radar views shows the entire workspace, I can stay aware of other people's presence, their locations, their activities, regardless of what, where they are located in the work surface. Still, I can use the detail view to do my own individual work and to focus my attention elsewhere. The radar system split the screen into two windows, introducing a seam in the interface between the focus view and the awareness view. Our second system uses a fisheye technique to provide both focus and awareness information in the same window. A fisheye view allows the entire workspace to be shown in a single window and allows people to see the details of a particular node by distorting the workspace around it. Since the whole workspace is always visible, we don't need the radar view to provide awareness information. You can see my telepointer wherever I go, and you can see the changes I make to the concept map. Since each person can have a different focus, we have to map cursor positions back to a common underlying representation in order to show them in the right place. So for example, I'm on this node here, and as I move to the other node, the cursor tracks correctly, even though the Cartesian coordinates are quite different. To show people's location, we also indicate each person's focus point and enlarge that node slightly to let others know what they're working on. I'm over here. And I'll actually do the same over here. You can see that the corresponding node will get larger on the other side. The fisheye provides continuity and gives people a smooth transition between local detail and global awareness. However, the distortion does present some problems for keeping track of the objects in the workspace. The drag mag system moves away from the idea of distortion but retains the approach of showing the whole workspace in the main view. Here, the concept map is available in the main view with no distortion. Once again, other people's work is always visible in the workspace, including their telepointers. We can see them move around, we can see them move their nodes and do their activities. Although people can work on the map of the scale, things are too small to see the details of a particular node. For example, I can't read what this says. For showing details, each person has a portable magnifier that can be dragged around the workspace. If a person wants to work on a particular node, they can enlarge it with a magnifier and work on it normally. I can also see the outline of another person's magnifier as a colored box in the workspace. I'm going to work over here. And now I can see you in my view as well. When two people drop their magnifiers on the same place, they can see each other's activities and telepointers in full size. The drag mag approach, unlike the radar system, 
assumes that the global view is the primary way that people want to work and that they'll only use the detail view, the magnifier, when they need to do specific detailed work. This final system attempts to get the best of both worlds using the full screen for both the overview and for the detail view as well. We do this by superimposing one view on the other and showing two layers of information on the same window. The overview is in miniature in the background and the detail view is shown zoomed in on the foreground layer. The overview doesn't move as I scroll around. Rather, it stays in the background to provide context and global awareness information. All of the awareness features of the radar are available. View rectangles, telepointers in both the overview and the detail view. As well, we can see objects move and in both layers. The detail layer, meanwhile, provides a full-size main view to let us do our detailed work. When our two main views intersect, as shown in our view rectangles, we can again see each other working. In summary, the overview layer lets us stay aware of others in the workspace, while the detail layer lets us focus on our individual work. These techniques were all developed within GroupKit and Pad++. More information is available on our worldwide web pages. On them, you'll find that GroupKit is freely available for downloading, and you'll also find a variety of publications that describe this work. <laughs>